Why do they call it the good news? Hello Internet, I'm David and this is the Pursuit Blog and since it's Easter time that question is out there. Why is it called the good news? Is it really good news? Seriously? If you ask some people what the good news is, this is the story that you'll get. You are a very bad person, a very horribly bad sinful person, and therefore Jesus had to come and die on the cross and save you from your sins. And he rose a few days later. Now, it may just be me, but if somebody approached me and said, that is good news, I might laugh. It doesn't sound very good to me. I mean, you just told me I'm a terrible, terrible person. And the whole bit about Jesus dying and coming back, at most, that is just plain strange. And the reason all of this sounds strange is because it's only half the gospel. It's only half of what is considered the good news. But unfortunately, that's the half that most people know. And it's the one that they go around telling everybody. You see, the full good news is this. Jesus didn't just die on the cross for your sins so, so that you could be saved from them, but so that you could be free from them. You know that those anger issues you have? Or the cutting problem that you can't seem to stop? Or the porn that you just look at every day? Or the relationship that you constantly are running back to even though it's so unhealthy? Or, and you fill in the blank with your Jesus didn't just come to die to pay the penalty for those sins, but to set you free from those things. Let me put it this way. Jesus beat sin so that you can too. 2 Corinthians 5.17 says, Therefore, if anyone is in Christ, he is a new creation. The old has gone. Behold, the new has come. And it goes on in, in verse 21, it says, God made him who had no sin to be sin for us so that we may become the righteousness of God. God's plan wasn't just to save you from your sin, but so that you could be unencumbered by it any longer. Jesus took it all and paid it all and beat it all so that if we are in Him, we can too. We're no longer the same person we once were before Christ because with Christ we can actually live into freedom if we choose to. You see, being free from all of this, that is the good news, but the real question is not whether it is good news. The real question is, do we live like we believe that we are free? And frankly, that's a question I have to ask myself sometimes. Do I live like I am actually free from the sin that Jesus paid for? But think over the question for a little while. But I hope you have a great Easter. As always, leave me your comments and your thoughts in a comment or a video response down below. I will see you again soon. God bless.